Do you want to make some money? We're talking quick, easy, no effort money. <gasps> yes, I got you. You're in the right place because today we're gonna test bets that you always win. Huh? Yep, I've seen so many bets and tricks on the internet and apparently with these ones you're always the winner. You get all the money. Basically, you cheat a little. You play a trick on your friends. Which makes you a cheater, a scammer and a bad friend. You know, maybe don't take their money because that's stealing. Just play for fun, no money involved. Or do whatever you want. I'm gonna lay the information here and you decide what you wanna do with it. No judgment. Fill a glass with water and say to your friend, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you can make a paper clip float on a water surface. Sure, I'm gonna be rich. <gasps> Every time they'll give it a go, the clip will sink to the bottom. Nothing is floating, why not? <sighs> this sucks. Okay, if I'm able to do it, you have to give me a hundred bucks. Okay, but if you fail, you give a hundred to me. Right. The secret is to form one of the paper clips into L shape and then balance another paper clip on top. Next, we have to carefully dip this onto the water surface. Will we succeed or flop? Let's find out together. <gasps> it works, guys! <laughs> that is so cool! A hundred bucks, please! Thank you! You know, guys, I'm interested. How about we place a paper clip in very, very gently? Do we need a second paper clip at all? I'm gonna try it. <gasps> yeah, that works too! You don't need this L-shaped paper clip if you're very, very gentle. Can I get another hundred bucks for a second solution? Absolutely not! I love having a clean house, but sometimes I just don't feel like cleaning. Hmm, maybe we can do something about it. Place a card on the glass, balance a tube of paper on it, and lastly, place a coin on top of the tube. It's standing. Propose a bet to your sibling. If I manage to move the coin into the glass without touching the glass, card, tube, or coin, you're cleaning the house for a month. A month? That's a lot. But if I fail, I have to clean the house for the entire month. And remember, we cannot touch anything. We have to move the coin into the glass without touching anything. That seems kind of impossible. That really is impossible. I take the bet. Honestly, I'm scared this is not gonna work, but apparently if you blow upwards under the cart, the coin should fall into the glass. Can you believe this? Not sure, but we shall try and see. Yes! The coin is in the glass. We succeeded. And that was somehow super easy. What a fun bet. Katie, I promise I'm not gonna make too much mess. Ah, life is good. All we need for this bet is a string or a shoelace. Ask your friend, grab the ends of a shoelace. Hmm. If you can tie a knot in the shoelace without letting go, I'm gonna give you um a 500 bucks. <gasps> A 500 bucks? Your friend will try very hard, but eventually probably give up. I hate this. Do you have my 500 bucks ready? Huh? This trick is super easy when you know how to do it. Place the string on the table, cross your arms, grab the ends, and uncrossing your arms will give you a knot. <gasps> oh. Yay, I'm 500 bucks richer. No, I haven't bet anything. What? I really want some cookies. There's something in here. Maybe Katie can bake some cookies for me. Katie, can you bake me some cookies? Are you mad? Like, can you bake me a cake? Okay, let's play a game. You win, I bake you a cake. I win, you bake me cookies. Sounds fine to me. Here's a piece of paper and I cut a hole in it which is about the size of two cents. If I can push a much larger coin through that hole without ripping the paper, I win the bet. Great, bet accepted. What kind of cake are you planning to bake for me? Not so quickly, baby. Place the coin onto the hole, fold the paper in half, bring the corners together and the coin will fall out and the paper remains intact. What? I want the chocolate chips cookies, please. Here are your cookies, madam. Mmm, thank you. Take a glass of water and an empty glass and secretly you want to drip in a drop of food coloring. I suggest you to use the same color of food coloring as your shirt because in that way it will be even more unnoticeable. Now let's propose a bet to a friend. Before doing that we have to hide the food coloring. I bet 20 bucks that I can change the color of this water instantly simply by pouring it into this glass. You're crazy, bet accepted, give me the money. Perfect, here we go. Ta-da! Wait, what? How did you do that? The water is colored. 
20 bucks, please. <laughs> Thanks. Cheers to getting richer and richer. Take a bottle, three coins, and borrow a banknote from your friend. Place a bottle on a table and balance a banknote and three coins on top. Tell your friend, if I'm able to take the money with just one finger without touching the coins, I can keep the money. And if I fail, I'll give the same amount to you. Mm. Your friends may try to do it, but they will definitely fail, so of course they'll say. Okay, I take the bet, that's free money. We'll see about that. Apparently the trick is to lick the finger, hit the note quickly, and the note will stick to the finger and get pulled out that way. Will this work? I don't know. But let's see. Lick the finger and go. <gasps> it did work. So easy. The first try. I'm shocked. But I love it because this is mine. Thanks, Katie. I'm hungry, but I'm too lazy to cook dinner tonight. <gasps> I have a plan. For this bet, you need a bottle and a pen cap. Place the cap into the bottle with the opening pointed inside the bottle. Tell your friends. If you can blow the cap further into the bottle, I cook dinner tonight. But if you fail, you cook dinner for us. Well, this sounds like an easy free dinner for me. Of course, I take the bet. Perfect, go ahead. No matter how hard your friend blows, the cap will fly out. <laughs> Frozen pizza. Bon appetit. Thanks. Place two glasses on a table and challenge your friends. Can you support a third glass between these two glasses using only a banknote? If you succeed, you can keep the cash. <gasps> yes! Your friends will be happy to try, but soon they will give up. Apparently, all we have to do is fold the note in a zigzag way. Split up the banknote, place it between the two glasses and carefully place the third one on top. Ta-da! It worked! We did it, guys! 100 bucks, Katie! Katie! Where did she go? Place a banknote on a table and balance on a bottle turned upside down. Say to your friend, if you can remove the note without touching the bottle and keeping it in balance like this, you can keep the money. If you fail and I'm able to do it, you have to give a hundred bucks to me. I could use a hundred bucks. I take the bet. Awesome, go ahead. Over. Sorry, this is how professionals do it. You simply have to roll the banknote in a tube and push the bottle away. Ta-da! Haven't touched the bottle and the money is mine. I want a hundred, please and thank you. Hmm, a sink full of dirty dishes. I hate that. Let's see if Katie can give us a hand. Katie, will you wash the dishes for me? You wish. Grab two books and weave the pages together. Propose a bet to your friend. Katie, if you manage to pull these books apart by holding just the spine of the books, I'll give you this bowl of candy. And if you fail, you have to do my dishes. Okay, easy, I take the bet. It's pretty crazy, but it's actually super hard to pull the books apart this way. Why is this not possible? <laughs> That's okay, don't stress. It's just the dishes. <laughs> Sorry. You'll need two glasses and a little bowl. Cover the bowl with a wine glass and bet to your friend. If I can move the bowl into this glass by just holding the stem of the wine glass, I win the bet. Okay, I bet 50 bucks that you won't be able to do it. All right, game on. All we have to do is rotate this glass, lift the bowl and then place it in the other glass. Bingo, it's so easy. <gasps> Now, Katie, where's my money? Here. Thank you. For this bet, you only need a tube from a toilet roll. Suggest a bet to your friend. If you can drop the tube and have it stand on its end, I'll give you a 50 bucks. But if you fail and I succeed, you give 50 bucks to me. Hmm. This doesn't sound too difficult. Let's play. Awesome. Your friends will fail every time. 
Ahem, I think you've had enough attempts. My turn now. Apparently the trick is to drop the tube on its side, holding it like this. Not sure if that is gonna work. Let's try. What? It works like magic! Wait, how? Actually, I don't care. I just want my 50 bucks. Katie, where's my 50 bucks? <sighs> Thanks, love. It really does work. I need to prank someone with this trick. Grab two straws and a glass of water. These are biodegradable, very important. Only use paper, biodegradable or reusable straws. None of the other stuff is allowed. Ask your friend to put both straws into their mouth and then one straw into the glass of water. That's perfect. I bet you won't be able to suck the liquid up the straw. I bet I will be able to do it. How much? 20 bucks. Deal. It's not working. How? Because it's not possible. Yay! My car is super dirty. It really needs a wash, but I don't feel like doing it. I have an idea. Propose a bet to your friend. I bet that I'm gonna put this glass of water on the table, but you won't be able to drink it. If I win, you wash my car. And if you win, you give me a hundred bucks. Deal. Deal. Now this bet is quite scary because now I have to place this cart over the glass, flip it around, put it on the table, and then slide the cart away. Am I gonna be able to do this? I'm scared. I'm stressed. But I'm willing to try because my car is hella dirty. And the dogs are going crazy. Can you guys hear them? So rude. Okay, thank you. Cart over the glass, flip it around, uh, it's on the table. Now we have to remove the cart. Please, please, please. Let's do this. Here we go. We did it, guys. We have the glass flipped upside down on the table, filled with water. Here you go, Katie. Your glass of water is served. <sighs> Not funny. I have so much homework today, but I think someone could do the homework for me. Grab a bottle and a biodegradable or paper straw like this one. Place the bottle on the table and the bet is to leave the bottle without touching it and using only the straw. Your friend will probably be confused and fail. The trick is to fold the end of the straw up, place it in the bottle and leave. Easy peasy. Psst. What do you say, Katie? Bet accepted? Honestly, I have so much homework today. I would love if you could do it for me. Bet accepted. Lovely. Ta-da! I haven't touched the bottle and I lifted it only using a straw. Have fun doing my homework. The essay is due tomorrow. Balance another paper clip. Place the third glass on top. Woo. 